guys and girls. Well, thanks for joining me for this week's wig talk. This is my dog, Lucy. She's a Papillon. And before we get started, I just want to let you know that the wig I'm wearing today is Tea Leaf Layer by Bellatress Wigs in the color Honey with Chai Latte. In this wig talk, I thought that we would discuss changes we would like the wig brands to make in how they construct our wigs. Now for me, I don't understand why monofilament crowns are even a thing. Because I don't think a monofilament crown serves any real good purpose. I would rather have a monofilament part or a full monofilament top. Now, if you have never seen a monofilament crown, let me show you. This is the Watch Me Wow wig by Raquel Welch. And as you can see, it has a monofilament crown. And I have never understood the purpose of monofilament crowns. I, I mean, I get that it's supposed to look like the hair is growing right out of your scalp in a small circle at the back of your head. But surely most of us would want either a full monofilament top or a monofilament part. And since the price point is not all that different between a monofilament crown and a monofilament part, I would prefer if the style just had the monofilament part. And I would love to hear your take on this. The other bone I have to pick with wig brands is why we still are dealing with wig shine. Why is there shiny fiber still being used in higher end or medical wigs? There are plenty of fibers that are not shiny. I hope that someone can answer this question for me <laughs> because I'm quite curious. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope that you will share your opinions on the two things that I brought up, and I would love to hear what your pet peeves are when it comes to wig construction. Well, you take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.